Welcome to this tutorial on how to install GCG on a Windows computer. First we want to go into the installation guide and install the Windows subsystem for Linux. In order to do that, please follow the instructions given by Microsoft. They might update over time, so this is just an example. Note that you'll have to run the PowerShell in administrator mode. You might also be required to download packages and install them. Finally, please make sure that your WSL version is at least 2. Then you are ready to install Ubuntu. After installing it from the Windows Store, it will take a few minutes. We skip the few minutes here and then you can enter a Unix username. This does not have to be the same username as for your Windows machine. Finally, set your password. Remember those two details. After that, your Windows subsystem for Linux is ready to be used. To work with files, navigate to the home directory of the Windows subsystem Right click with shift pressed and click open Linux shell. And then we want to create a folder, own this folder and navigate into it. Next, we install GCG. We download the automated installer and the most recent skip optimization suite tar. Both files are prepared here already. Then we make the installer executable. We execute the installer. On some systems it might be required to do this as a root. You have to confirm that you really want to install the suite and whether you want to check if the requirements for the installation are fulfilled. If they aren't, this might take some time depending on your system. Then Enter the path to the skip tar file. The script will unpack the file and it will ask you how you want to install GCG and the skip optimization suite. We recommend make file for Windows systems. After the compilation is completed, the script will ask you if you want to conduct a test. Answer with yes. After the test has been completed, you'll be seeing an overview and will also be able to start GCG on your own. Navigate to the respective folder and then type dot slash bin slash GCG. You can also read instances, solve them and quit again. Thanks for paying attention to this tutorial.